and we're live. Good evening, Central Indiana, and welcome to Porch Time Live from JTH Construction Studio. Well, we have a little, it was red shirt day, and I, I must have not, they didn't give the Army the memo, so. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of, kind of a little disappointed in that, but that's all right. Um, big show tonight, and then we have another show a little bit later on tonight. We've got Jerry and Bruce in it. They're going to introduce a guest of theirs they brought with them. Yep. Um, they've got to talk about Parade, Battle Buddies, Spear 45, whole nine yards. So how are we doing, gentlemen? We're good. 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 Good, good to be back. Good to be, yeah. You guys are um, busy time of year for you boys. Yeah. Um, yeah. From, now, from now to the end of yes. July, we we stay from, busy. From now until yeah. next May, you guys stay busy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... You, you got to keep your Air Force guys busy so you stay out of trouble. So exactly, you know, we're just... never that busy. <laughs> <laughs> we're always in trouble. <laughs> got the fourth coming up. Yes, sir. We'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah, Jerry, take it away. You're the, uh, you're the parade third director. annual Fourth of July parade. Actually, be on the Fourth of July this year that's, on Monday. That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. The first one was on the fourth, and then yeah, that's right. We got sidelined by uh, being on Sunday, so right. We didn't want to. Uh, interfere with the churches and stuff like that so we switched it to a saturday fourth on a monday this year fourth is yep. on a monday this year so three-day weekend you got plenty of time to do all your barbecuing and stuff on saturday and sunday and come out and join us for the parade and fireworks and concert all on monday yeah monday's a busy time yeah, uh, fourth's a, a busy time in this town yeah, yeah. with rob and his concerts uh, fireworks and downtown and all nine yards so and the parade what's the route going to be this year uh same route uh, down uh, Sycamore. Sycamore. Sycamore to Washington. We'll go out, out to Washington this time and then up to Jefferson and back to the school. Same same as the last yeah. couple of years. About, about a yep. one mile route. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's one mile. And and it's pretty much open. If you This year we've it. opened it up to everybody. Yeah. Uh, the first year there was so much politics going on and the election. Things were not good and we didn't allow any any right. political right. Yeah, you know, we based that on kids. Yeah, the first year we was wanted our kids, kids so. out there. Right. We didn't want politics or anything else. Just kids. Now, I'm not against that at all. So, That's good stuff. But this yeah. year, bring it on. Yeah. How many entries you got thus far? Four that I know of. Four that you know. Of. Yeah. We, that just, we just we just picked it up yeah. um, Wednesday. I think is when I did the. You sent the up the applications last week. So yeah. yeah. Or opened them up. They can. They can start then. Fill in plot in June, and it's it's yeah. it's free. Everything free to join. Free to join. Yep. Yep. Everything That's... we do is free to the public. Yes, Everything. sir. So. It's an it's a fun fun parade. I remember I went live each year, and last year I had people tuning in from across the country, and they're like, "I wish our little town would hold a fourth parade." And I mean, I don't know why we didn't before, and. I don't know why every town doesn't hold something like that. We should. We should. Every town should. It takes, yeah. it takes quite a bit of work and I mean, if you, if you Air Force, and Air Force guys can figure it out. I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know for Marines, we'd have to chalk crayon on the street. You know, oh, yeah. yeah, follow the, follow the crayon line. Right. Please don't lick the pavement. But, you know. <laughs> the, Navy, the Navy, of course, we'd have to flood the street. And, and, right. And yeah. Right. Show them right. To get their boats <laughs> right, <laughs> Bill said he loves what you guys do exactly. Hi, right, Bill. Good to see you, buddy. So, so yeah, it's a, it's a good time. It is, and um, it's just a good day to be an American. Not that any day isn't, but is. that's the best day for sure. Uh, so. But once we're done at the Fourth of July parade, it's right up to the five hundredth taps. Five hundred weeks on July twenty second. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it'll actually be week four ninety nine. Yeah, but there's so many conflicts with the county fair starting that next weekend. Right. But to be honest, it could be the fifth, the five hundredth, because we started a week before that for the kids <clears throat> in Sandy Hook. Yeah, but I never officially started taps on the square until the week after because that week, first week, was for the kids. Yeah, yeah, you know, that that was all that was about. Sure. So. I, I want to throw this past you, um, and I don't know if Lindsay said anything to you yet. But I would love to honor the few remaining World War II veterans we have in this town, some way, shape, or form. Absolutely. I, um, even if it's bringing them in here, or if it's at your TAPS event, or, or because I, I heard we're down to like 10, maybe, in county. I think Possible. that's... I mean, that's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that is mind-blowing to think 
There's only 10 of those heroes left yeah. in our county. Well, you figure there's 16 million that went into World War II. Right. 499,000 died. Right. There's still over 45,000 that are missing in action. And out of those 16 million, there's only 160,000, I think, left nationwide. Wow. It's un unbelievable how fast they're passing now. Yeah. In so, five years, they'll all be gone. They'll be gone. That's what I said. I said in five, six years, there won't be any yeah. left. So I was thinking uh, kind of a joint effort, if you want, between the three of three groups, if it, we can figure out something, even it's just a token of appreciation. I, I, I mean, what can you give a guy who gave us that all? gave us, you know, a handshake and a look in the eye and tell him God bless is, is but I something. Think that, that would be a great night for, yeah, for times on the square about. Yeah. That'd, that'd be uh, great for it. Yeah, we'd be more than happy to put him in a parade and in a vehicle and get him around. Yeah, uh, but I think the more hands-on appreciation, right? Do both have him yeah. come out in front uh, at at taps and honor him yeah. after yeah. after the ceremony is over. We'll yeah. bring them out. And yeah, we'll just bring yeah. the community if to we thank them. We'll have to get Lindsay um, to smile. gather them and then. Say here's where we need to be, and, and set the logistics of that up because I don't know if I don't know if many of them can still maneuver around as much as they used to. So, and see if we can't get with Kathleen, and see if we can't give them some type of like a challenge coin or something yeah. or some sort. Yeah, we you want to you want to introduce? Yeah, I guess I can introduce <laughs> Chris. Uh, Chris Coffey's a he's a U.S. Navy U.S. Army veteran. He was combined forces. He liked um, one so much he joined the Army. He didn't like the he, <laughs> well, he, he was in the dirt with the Army, so he had to join the Navy to clean, clean off. off right. you know? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I actually started off four years active duty with the Navy and was young at the time, had a young family, thought, I'm done, I'm over it, don't want to do this, play this game anymore. It wasn't two months later I joined the, uh, signed the paperwork and joined the Army. There you go. Yeah. yeah Chris, Chris, is, uh, Chris is part of our Battle Buddies group. Awesome. Um, yeah, we we do what we can. Yeah, we we leave that open to all of our veterans, first responders. They're always welcome to join us. Yeah, because our our primary goal is help. Yeah, uh, Jerry and I both have had issues from our military and police periods of time, and sure, yeah, you know, it took other people to help us get past ours. Right, and uh, that way we can just keep passing it on to other brothers and sisters. It's it's such an honorable thing you guys do there in. Needed, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, it is. For many, uh, like I said, many folks in all sorts of fields. But the, as I was discussing off air, the mental health issue in this country, covering a lot of different areas, is is really taking its hit over time. It and has. so any way we can help. No, you, know, you figure we've lost, what, four veterans in the last year in Martinsville to yeah. suicide. Yeah. yeah. And all they got to do is reach out to us. Right. Yeah. We, we can help. We're, it takes, we're too damn stubborn to do that. We're, though. We're, you know that. We've got pride. We've got <laughs> I, our pride. Honestly. We've got our pride. We're going to fear what people think about us. Right. And yeah, that that's what stops us. But you know, once you get past that first step, Chris, if you yeah, if you want to step in and what about what we've done and how, how we've progressed over the years, you're more than welcome. I, I found these guys about a year, a little over a year ago, um, and. Like I tell everybody, and I've told everybody, had I not found these guys a year ago, I would not be sitting here. Mm -hmm. I mean, as recently as about three or four months ago, mm -hmm. it, I mean, I was sitting in a parking lot and had Bruce not answered my text when he did, it would have happened right then. So these guys do, it helps. Uh, and... I don't know how many times these guys have, I've had something go on and I've not called yeah. or sent a text. And these guys have, for lack of a better term, jumped my butt because yeah. I did. Yeah. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> it's when he shows up at Taps and he goes, I almost called you. Yeah. It's like, prepare for prepare a Prepare for both. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they both, they both, they quartered me. Yeah. And said, you know, next time we won't be so nice. Right. Yeah. For a couple of jerks, they can be some of the best people on the planet. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, you know, with, with our meetings, we don't pressure anybody. No. Right. We walk in there. There's weeks we don't even talk about our service. There's right. weeks we just sit there and joke around, tell stories, have right. fun. And then once in a while, one of us just kind of break loose and let it fly. 
I just thought my wife never knew what my issues were until seven years ago. Right. And that was from 1986. Wow. Yeah. I forgot how much older you were than me. I was a freshman (laughs) in high school. (laughs) No, I wasn't. No, you weren't. I was actually. You were in basic training when I was there. (laughs) I forgot, Papa, how much older you were. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I, I stuck my head in the bottle for nine years and. She still thinks it was just because I was partying. It was just my way of hiding what I'd seen and Chasing smelled. The demons. Heard. Yeah. The demons just, yeah, don't tell anybody. Right. Because I got tired of that same old term. Get over it. Yeah. yeah. Shake it off. Excuse mm-hmm. me, I'm going to break your knee. Walk it off. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's the word you don't say to somebody with issues is, you know, come talk to us. No, please. but there's, there is no better feeling than the camaraderie you make with service branches with mm-hmm. with your air force guys with your navy or army guys yeah. um i still communicate and you know you guys do too all you guys do with buddies that i was in with how many years ago i yeah. mean it's been yeah. 55 35 years ago yeah. i'm still talk to my commanding officers from korea to this day really yeah that's awesome yeah, he's, he's a good friend of mine he was part of the reason i got squared away yeah and uh, we're still good friends to this day that's that's why I think it's important that we do something for the ten or so. And yeah, we remaining. definitely need to do something for I, our, I, I our last remaining World War Two vets. Put out in front of taps would be awesome because yeah. those guys. I mean, they paved the way for all of us, and and, exactly. and and you know we can't do the generation before them, unfortunately, or the generation before, before them. them. Yeah, I, I've like got a, the most recent. I've got a wall at my house. It's just nothing but military photos from our family. And I look at that, you know, it's like the right. Revolutionary War and. My grandpa, my great great grandpa, my great grandpa, World War Two, World War One, grandpa, World War One, and I see my father in law, Korea. Uh, you know, both my dad and my uncle both were in World War Two, and just the oh, progress of the line. Right. It's like, man, what they did for us before I even showed up. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's uh, that's something that's always overlooked, and and. Those that lived it and have family that have done it, we never overlook it. You know what I mean? Never forget it. And, and there's yeah, a that's why we do what we do. do. Yeah. yeah. And you and you guys, I'm giants. We are. I mean, just like this gentleman right here, you guys touch the hearts of so many that are in need. That that they just want to talk. They just need yeah. to hear a voice of familiarity and someone just so you're not alone in it yeah. and a lot of times they don't even want to talk they just want to sit with somebody yeah. and be a friend mm-hmm. yeah. yeah just said have a cup of coffee just know that someone just cares knowing that we do care we're yeah. not therapists we're not associated with the government or the va or anything like that we're i just... couldn't have you if it's my therapist <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple of guys around either one of you <laughs> we weren't navy. we weren't navy <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, there wouldn't be an Air Force if it wasn't for the Army Air Corps. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were just smart. That's our show, folks. Our, our grades just got high enough we graduated. Anyway. <laughs> so now, you know, a Thank lot you, of, Teresa. A lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people just think of us as taps on the square. Right. We, we do so much more that. Oh, you guys in, go in all the, In the too. background. Yeah. I mean, one Friday and Saturday, I drove over 600 miles to do one fu- a funeral on the graveside. Yeah. For the same person. Yeah. The graveside in southern Indiana and the, the actual celebration of life was north of Fort Wayne. So we do that for free. And, you know, everything we do is through the donations of the public to our, to our organization. Right. Yeah. When it comes to long trips like that, yeah, we need to put gas in our bugler's tank. Right. Especially at 350 a gallon or 450, what, or 439, I think is what it is today. Yeah, for almost 440 or 450 but, gallon. You know, every, everything we do is free. I think it might be cheaper to fly. You guys know where we can get a plane? Might be. <laughs> Helicopter would be cool. I'd, oh, love, to, I'd love to get back on a Huey. <laughs> I'm going to get yeah. my go-kart out and put a parachute on it. <laughs> I see these other guys do it. It can't right. be hard. It can't be hard. We can do it. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do a lot in the background that people don't know about. I mean, we, so far this year, I keep a listing of all the, the funerals we do and the ceremonies. We've done 29 funerals and two ceremonies. This year already. This year already. And we, all right, um, except that uh, one of the presentations, we did a roll call for a World War II veteran yeah. that uh, passed away. And he uh, got moved before he passed away to his fam- by his family down to Jackson, Mississippi. 
and it was not a good situation for him to go there right. and no friends, no other family hardly down there at all. Uh, but we, I accepted the, the quilt and he thing it. and medallions on his behalf. Awesome. And then drove down there and presented them to the family because oh. I didn't want him not to have someone there at his funeral. Right. right. That's fantastic. Now we, we've got our roll call medallions and uh, quilts. Georgia, North Carolina, Michigan, twice that I know of. We've got one in Washington State that accepted it. We actually, it was accepted by us, and then we shipped it to them. Hey, and is, is there anybody across the country that do what you guys do as far as taps on a Friday We night? are it. Uh, we, are did, we do have yeah. a new group that started uh, April 1st in North Carolina. And they they can only do it once a month on the first Friday of the month because they only have one bugler right. and they can't get together. Every it only week. takes one. Only takes one. Right. And uh, but yeah, we're we're still the only ones after ten years. It's only ten years we've done this. I'm surprised more haven't jumped on that. A lot of the groups originally there were five groups that started this yeah. after the Sandy Hook ceremonies yeah. because it. I was the first to do it, then other groups got interested, and they joined in, and they were expecting hundreds of people to show up and all kinds of donations, and it's like, guys, that's not what it's about. Right. It's about that name on that list and that family with tears in their eyes. Right. That's what it's about. And it's respect about to those heroes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And we, sometimes that's that's hard to get through to people. It is. I mean? It really is. And we've lost so many close friends, you know, like Carl Harney passed away a little over a month ago very very dear man u.s marine veteran purple heart from world war ii or from uh, vietnam and it broke our hearts because he was part of our group right and come out set up joke around just the sweetest kindest guy you'd ever meet but can't but you know, battles with cancer but uh, that was probably the hardest roll call we've had in a while yeah because yeah he, he was one of ours yeah, and Gene and Gene. Gene was the roughest. Yeah, but yeah, Gene World was there from the beginning. Gene Groves, yeah, yeah. been yeah. around forever. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, <laughs> there wasn't a dry eye in that group, including the guy. He was old when I was a kid, and then I caught up with him, and I never could forget. Old when that happened. happened. When I worked at the jail in the nineties. I'm not going to say anything, but <laughs> I may have run me out of Fox Jerry. Cliff many nights. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, we we lost we, a bottle of rum because of him. One night. I hate <laughs> when that happens. <laughs> we thought Boone's Farm bad, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, we we have fun with what we do, and we we take all we take it serious. I mean, behind the scenes, I'm on my computer. The effort and the work that Just, you have to put into it to get to Friday, because the names hit every unfortunately every, every day. single day. Yeah, and I yeah. see you guys post on. I'm like, oh my gosh. Another one, you know, and every one of you got, we got all four branches and Coast Guard and Rosie and on down the line. It just, unfortunately, it's it's just just part of life. Yeah, yeah. The the sad ones on there for me are the law enforcement, yeah, Yeah. EMS. Yeah, they're not dying of old age. Those are guys that are killed in In line line of duty duty, every week. Yeah, and it's senseless. Yeah, yeah. Two of the, the two the two we had this week were vehicular homicides. They were killed while they were giving tickets. People ran over them. Really? Yep. Both of them were people that were affiliated with the person getting the ticket. Oh, yeah. wow. So, so they were, it was seriously on yep, purpose. It was on purpose, yeah. Out of a ticket? Out of a Are ticket. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yep. Oh, they die for less. They die for less. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we spend so many, I mean, Thursday night, I get home from I work in Louisville on Thursdays and I'm usually home around five. And it's eleven thirty or midnight before I get the post set up to go out the next morning because every single name we get I do I search that obituary. Yeah. If that obituary isn't found, I don't put the name on. Right. Unless the family sends it to me. Right. Which most of them do, but I still have to research every single one of those. Yeah, that's rough. You're sitting there looking at a person's life, just thinking, "Wow, you know." Yeah. So, so how long you been affiliated with Spirit of Forty Five? About six months. Well, um, I I came on board with them about a year ago when I yeah. came, when I because I actually approached Bruce about the Battle Buddies program about a year ago. Yeah. 
and then we I just every Friday you know I, we uh, come down and part of it and I'll, I'll fill in he's uh, read names he's ringing the bell. bell he helps me set up and tear down what, um, what a about the only thing I ha haven't done and can't do yet is play the uh, trumpet or bugle I don't know if, if if there's a more honorable group non non active duty than, than what you guys do for, for the fallen and it's just amazing to me and the honored flight and all that stuff you guys do it's just it's incredible and I, I look at you guys and I know it's 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 a big jump but it's it's the honor guard of the tomb and out in Arlington because I've oh, been yeah. there and if, and if you're listening you've never been there you need to go check oh, that absolutely. out one time mm -hmm. on your bucket list but you guys are, are basically the retired version of that you well, know what I mean I don't, well, I'm not going to get you guys the money, retirement money. But, but. <laughs> Jerry, let's go. Yeah. Interviews up. No. I take that. Cut. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You're still, you're still serving your country. You're still honoring our fallen each and every day. One thing that kept me going on this was in well, May 24th of 2002. Zonder and I had the opportunity to be some of the only civilians slash veterans to play taps in the Arlington National Cemetery. Wow. We had 180 bugles from around the country, Australia, yeah. Britain, and we all met at Arlington National Cemetery for the 150th anniversary of taps, and that's the first time that civilians and veterans have been allowed to, to sound the honor there. Really? And the sound of 180 oh, it's amazing, I bet. buglers one at a time. Started at the Lee House with uh, Yari Valanueva was the guy that put it all together. He started the first taps. He hit the last note. The next four corners, north, east, south, and west, right. sounded the arms. When they hit the last note, the next four. Yeah. And you didn't know it was your turn until you saw the guy up the street put his horn down. Mm -hmm. and it was your turn. Time to go. But uh, <laughs> it, it took 32 minutes. Yeah. For 180 buglers to sound taps that's amazing. all the way across Arlington Cemetery. That that's what one of the things that kept me going. The, the cemetery itself is amazing. It, I mean, you you see the pictures of it, and you think it's just a flat land with some gravestones. Oh no, no, it's oh, a no. very beautiful rolling hills and the history behind it. Um, and if you don't get it, emotional when you're there, no, you're not in the you, right mindset. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah you, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the honor fight we get. Honor flight going one that's allowed to take buses all the way up to the tomb of the unknown. Really? They let us do that. Yeah. So they don't have to walk, right. obviously, or take the shuttles. But yeah, that's it's a hill. It's, it's a big hill. It, 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 it's up there. Yeah. But on our way the up shuttle there, shuttle drops you off, and I was like, Whoo, I don't on know the way what up this. there, we go past uh, section sixty, which is all the Afghan and Iraq, yeah, Iraq. following. <clears throat> so it's just like you have the World War II guys and Korean War and, uh, Vietnam guys on your buses. Yeah. And then you're passing the, the current ones yeah. that are there, and yeah. it's just so surreal and yeah. moving because the tour guides always point that out. Yeah. The buses just get silent. I, the it's up. the history that the, the tour bus driver gives throughout, or whoever's doing it, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And how far back it goes, and, and who's all involved with that land. And I'm, I'm not going to spill it because you do your history research on that because it's just amazing. It's an amazing piece of property. And where where it ended up and how it ended up and what they've done with it is is incredible. It is, yeah. And it's it's a bucket list. I'm telling you, I, you don't have to be associated with military. Just go there and check it there. out because it's it's worth every now, second. The Air Force Memorial was part of of, the, of Arlington National, National Cemetery. Cemetery. Okay, good. They bought that property around it and uh, incorporating it in now. So. Well, good. That, finally, yeah, that, finally, guys, got you guys a place at the table. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it took them long enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be, be you guys pay the army and navy off. Is that what you did? <laughs> the navy's got a beautiful, they've memorial got a beautiful down, yeah. memorial downtown. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah, being be in Arlington is just like. You know, Thank that, you, Wendy. All that, all that life given right there is just unbelievable. And I, I've been from there all the way to the west coast. Yeah. Of the West Coast Memor uh, Naval Memorial, and you walk up this huge wall that's eighty-five feet, I think, long and over sixteen feet high. Yeah, and it's got the names of everybody in that area who lost their lives in in the Navy. Yeah, and to stand out and sound taps across that out out into the Bay of San Francisco is just 
And I'll probably never right. go, but um, I would say second on the bucket list would have been U.S. Arizona. Yeah. But I don't know. You guys, have you been there? That's on my bucket list. Yeah. yeah. That's... That would be neat to see. Mm-hmm. And it just so happens I come from work and caught the tail into Pearl Harbor. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't imagine living at that, at that, that moment. That time. moment. Right. And, and going through what they went through at, at that part of the country. Yeah. Is a is a rough gig. Yeah, it's it's all my been a guy that saw that saw that happen. Really, he was on a, another <clears> ship <throat> that didn't get hit, but <laughs> he was a cook or farmer's assistant, whatever. But he was one of the only few left on the boat. Everybody else was on shore. Sunday and, morning. Uh, yeah, they went up, went up, and him and the chaplain were loading the deck guns and were firing at the Japanese flying over when yeah. the Arizona went up. He goes, yep, up there are my boxer shorts. Yeah. Firing at the Japanese as they flew right over. <laughs> right. Like, they weren't interested in our ship. Right. So, some of the neat stories I've got was my wife had two Navy veterans, and they were both great uncles for her. Um, but I actually had, to, I didn't know the one, but the other one I actually got time to sit, had time to sit and talk with, uh, her uncle Melvin. Uh, had some really interesting stories to tell about that time. Mm-hmm. And he was stationed on the USS Indianapolis. Really? Transferred off the week prior. Good Lord had other plans for that. Yeah. yeah. But he, he, <laughs> was, he was on that ship up until the week prior. Now, that's they, they sank the Indianapolis. Yes. But didn't it deliver the pay, payload it, prior to? Yes. yes. Yeah. It, it, it was, was sunk on, on the way home. Yeah. It was on its way home. And then the stories are horrific about the sailors pretty much in a circle and the, 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 and the sharks pretty yes. much just coming in. I think we've only got, what, two, two of the two survivors? Left. I think two of the survivors of that left. Yeah. Out of the, what was it, 289, I think, that yeah. survived out of all of them. Yeah, and the, the tales that they recount were just horrific. Yeah. They were horrific. Middle of the night, and you couldn't see, and you get sharks coming to feast. I, I got to go to the, the USS Indianapolis Memorial <laughs> or the uh, reunion one time and just to sit with those guys. It was uh-huh. just the stories they'd tell. Yeah, you'd see the emotion in their eyes and then they just pop up and they're like, but that was a long time ago. So. Yeah, so I've seen the cer- ceremony changing the guards when I was eight years old and almost 59 now and I can still remember it. Yeah. Hey, Cammie. Exactly. And thank you. There's Cammie. Oh. We love Cammy to death. Yeah, she's a good gal. Her grandpa, oh, he was an incredible man. Still got the picture of me and two of the kissing girls standing by his bed. Really? We went in and visited him before he, before he left the world. Yeah. Had a great visit. He was the sweetest old guy. Yeah. He'd come to our events, you'd look at and he'd just be smiling, waving his hands and laughing. <laughs> he had a ball with him. But, yeah, we those are good memories. I mean, we, we've had so much fun with people. Um, what do we think about today's world? How long show we got? <laughs> that When's the next one starting? <laughs> right. start, we may have to be, is going to be in here with three our, great our world is, We may have to wait a minute. Yeah. Our, our world has reached a point that those who fail to remember or teach history are doomed to repeat it. And we're in that process, I think, right now. Yep. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you were talking about Pearl Harbor a while ago. People don't realize they're still identifying the members. Of those ships yeah. to this day, uh, they just. What was your number of, of um, unidentified or MIAs for World War Two? Hundred and eighty-three. There was eighty-three thousand. Yeah, if I recall, I think they're down to fifty-four thousand. Really? Yeah, we don't get all of the notifications. A lot of the families don't want it made public. They just want their family member home. Sure. Uh, but just this last week, I posted. A West Virginia sailor that's been identified. He's going home to be buried. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Isn't War that unbelievable? From, from a World War II veteran or yeah. killed in action from Hurricane Forest in 45. Right. That's going home to his family this week. Well, they, they find these, maybe a downed pilot in some weird island or yeah. some thick force. That, mm-hmm. you know, somebody, so somebody may have seen it and just shut up and went about their business. And over time, that sat there forever and never found yeah. a body. And then you're just like, now they... We, we had one two weeks ago. He was 21-year-old lieutenant, P-51 Mustang, shot down over Germany. Yeah. And they just, I think it was 2019, found a piece of that aircraft in the dirt. 
and yes. start excavating and found the tail number of that aircraft. Tracked it. Tracked it. <clears throat> excavated that area. It took two years to ex excavate everything. And they found his wallet, dog tags. Oh, wow. So they did Partial remains because he knows them. But, you yeah. Know, but they were able to identify him through the DNA of his That's great wonderful grandson. For his family. I think it was a great grandson. So it's all it's awesome to yeah, we post every one of those and we've got them on our website. You can go back to twenty seventeen and see every single MIA. Yeah. And Oklahoma they're done. Uh four hundred and twenty nine were buried as unknown. They identified all but twenty twenty four of them. Really? Yep. So twenty four is still unknown, but the rest of them have gone home, including two from Indiana. They'll never get all of those guys back. No. It's not like when you hit a tank and there's four or five guys. That yeah. When the Navy loses a ship, they lose 1,000, yeah. 5,000 guys, guys at one time. Yeah. And there's no getting those guys back. How, how many is uh, entombed in the Arizona? 12, uh, 12, 20, there were 1,200. Like I think it was 1,224 or something yeah, like that. But then or something like so that. many of the, the Arizona survivors yeah. are being interred there with their abilities. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. yeah. They the oh, ceremony that when they I did not know that when they yeah. take that's amazing when they take those ashes and do the ceremony, it just brings tears to your eyes. They had to I be mean, cremated, and they take them over to the side, and then a diver takes them down and puts them in the ship. And the ceremony wow. that precludes that is incredible. Back with it's their buddies. Just, yeah, yeah. They want to be buried with their friends. I don't blame them. I don't blame them a bit. Yeah, it's, yeah. Wendy says, "Love your website." Uh, thanks, Wendy. And I've had people ask me, uh, because I've been members of uh, Honor Guards, and, and like Bruce said, I help these guys sit up every week. It's like, well, that's a lot of work just for 10 or 15 minutes and reading names off. I mean, that, that seems like a lot of work. I don't look at it as work. No. It's an honor. Yeah. These fellas put it, like I said, they put it on the line for everybody. Yeah. It, it's an honor that they've earned. Yeah. 100%. It's a, uh, it's, it, we, we all put a lot of work in. Yeah. yeah my, my job. You guys do amazing work. It's, my, I mean, it's. My job isn't just director. I'm kind of like the creative director. <laughs> I take care of the website and the Facebook page. You got demoted art director. Yeah. Say, I, I was going to turn it that way, but I was going <laughs> to let him run all for a minute. Uh, <laughs> you get new crayons? I don't, absolutely. You the now? <laughs> I just bought a new marker. It's a, a black indelible marker. <laughs> yeah, we, I create all that stuff. They, they, yeah, they have to have that erasable marker they got to give him because who knows where it's going to go. <laughs> I mean, Friday, Friday, for me, you know, two o'clock, I'm in makeup because this just doesn't happen. Right. And then voice prep at three thirty. Yeah, right. And then reading the names at seven. So right. That's right. a lot. I'm sure. It's horrible. I mean, I, I run someone him. out there is going to hear that and believe that. I run him ragged. Yeah. I, run, I run him ragged for at least ten months. Right. <laughs> Don't believe a word they're saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> somebody will hear that. And... We we have a lot of fun. The fun I mean, thing is. Being there and waiting for the time to start. Oh, yeah. And then I'm trying to catch either him or Randy not paying attention when yeah. I yell fall in. So they have to run over and get in place. Or yelling a dead square in my ear on a cold winter <laughs> I only did that once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> my, my, my thing is this, is that as I've advanced in age here, standing at attention is not fun when you get older for any oh, length it's of not. time. Uh, and I'm like, how, how did I do that for hours when you was yeah. a kid? You know, there's... Well, yeah. Now, now I, re I remember the big. Uh, we had a we had a general going away <clears> in Germany, and so everybody had to f go to Frankfurt, and they got a parade field that runs from about here to Mooresville. And you had thousands of us there, you know, old general going out, new and coming in. So we had real rows of thirty and forty soldiers marching. It took all day. Yep. But it, it hottest day of the year in Germany when we were where we were at, and some of the smarter older ones. I'm going to lock my knees. <laughs> See ya. Oh, man. <laughs> Note to self. I'm going to learn that one. The bad self. thing is you fall jacket. forward. Right, right, right. <laughs> Make sure all your pins are tucked down and there's no yeah, sharp you know, of you. Make sure you got those covers on those. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah. If your hands are out in front of your face when you fall, they ain't buying it. No, no. <laughs> and I didn't... Uh, I, I as a kid, I'd, I'd never heard of that. And then we get over there, and oh, they were 
There's one. Oh, there's another. There's, there's another. another one. It's yep. all the older guys. They were oh. like, I'm checking out. I'm yeah. getting out of here. We had that basic training. We'd get up in the... He's constantly... I didn't have anybody... Going, yeah. Up and down the playground. Don't lock your knees. Yeah. Don't lock your knees. I all of a sudden, inevitably, someone... Who, it may have been said to me, but I mean, I was—I think I was too scared to even. We had a di I'd walk up behind you, and if he—if he saw your knees locked, he'd kick your knees out from behind. Yeah, you. yeah. How your knees feel now, buddy? Right. Sore? Because I just landed on them. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 I'm pretty uh, sure when the war starts, I'm not going to be sending that attention. Yeah, heavens no. <laughs> oh, it's just story when um we got you know I only did a million push-ups for having my chin strap unbuttoned on my helmet. And then we get deployed to Panama, and uh, after we did our show of force on the tarmac for six hours in winter fatigues, and talk about a heat stroke. Oh, yeah. You know, you're out there drinking two five-quart canteens to the bone. You're like, dude, like, get us off this hot pavement. They march us out in the jungle, and the first thing I tell you, hey, and bucket, buckle that helmet. Why? Because you step off one of these spots here, and you hit a hole of water. It's going to take you to the bottom. I'm like, right I'm going to unbutton my helmet. These arms are because of that helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? that. Then, of course, um, 7.62 round, if it hits you with the chin strap on, they say it'd snap your neck. Snap your neck. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. they want you to unbutton. I'm like, you guys, yeah. I, I hate each and every one of you. <laughs> we used to set our helmet under our, underneath of our seat on, on the Hueys. Right. And you guys would be like, why are you doing that? I shoots from the bottom up. I said, that skin's only about yay thick. I said, you got to protect the family jewels. <laughs> and they, they'd look at you and you'd see them all just take their helmet off and tuck it in their seat. <laughs> Basic training, the tech school. Got done with tech school, went to my first base. And like, Whatever you learned in tech school, forget, forget about, about it. it. Right. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah. I, uh, That's exactly what they said. I, I went from Chanute to the first special operations wing in Florida. Yeah. As soon as I got on the red horse, walked in there to the commanding officer, saluted, and, you know, announced myself. And said, how was how was your uh, instruction? Good, sir. Good. Forget it. You ain't doing it for three years. <laughs> <Right>. Yes, sir. <laughs> my, my older brother was in the Navy, and he got um, his basic, at that point in time, was in Orlando. And uh, he always, one thing I took from his Navy career was they told him, um, he like his first day there, second day there, uh, big parade field, and, you know, they're marching and melting in the heat, and they march about from here to Walmart from where the buses had dropped them off. Mm -hmm. And you're in, you're in the middle of Florida. You know it's going to rain at some point in time during the day. Usually about summer. 445. <clears throat> yep. So their instructors, <laughs> uh, they march them two or three miles away from the buses. They sit them down, they're drinking water. Hey, how many of you guys ran track in high school, you know? And he was a track star, raised his oh, hands, and they're oh like, no. yeah, good, run back there and put the windows up on the bus. It's getting ready to rain. You got two minutes. So, <laughs> never like, volunteer. Ever volunteer. Ever. volunteer. Ever. Raise ever. Your hand. ever. ever. <laughs> Always divert your eyes in a different yes. direction. Yes. <laughs> Don't ever volunteer. Yeah, yeah we. You got to experience that, though, in base. If you've not done it, uh, you have my no uncle idea. Was in the earth, he told me, <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. get in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. be as don't small as possible. <laughs> don't let them learn your name for no. at least three weeks. All right. Uh, no, they learned my name right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> it took uh, him about three weeks to learn. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> just uh, he narrowed me out. Oh, I'm after that guy. Right. <laughs> I remember one time we were had went to the field for two weeks, and uh, somehow I got task with driving a uh one of our majors around and oh, the damn. the uh vehicle we were using was the old uh blazers right i, I drove those uh so when we'd go to the field we they for the four-wheel drive you still had to get out and physically lock, lock in, them in the front so when we knew we were going to field when we would stage we would go ahead and lock them in right. so that way if we had to shift to four-wheel drive we could just do it on the fly right well he the major comes out one time and goes, um, "We need to go visit our uh, the water purification unit platoon." I'm like, "Yes, sir." So we head out that way, and the only way to get to him was across an open field. <laughs> which, if you're an army vet, you know that's not a good thing. Right, right. <laughs> I'm a target. <laughs> yeah. So we we pull up to the wood line, and he says. Get me across this field as quick as possible. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. So, I, so I reached down, click, click, got yeah. it in a four wheel drive, and hit the accelerator pedal. Yeah. We're, you know, dirt and gravel and everything's flying from all four tires, but, you know, we're making great time across this field. Sure. <laughs> I did neglect to see the uh, little dent or little hole in the ground in front of us. Oh. So we hit that yep. little dip, and the only reason I stayed in my seat is because I had the uh, steering wheel. <laughs> he didn't. I'm just happy he had on that steel pot, or right. steel pot at that time because it put a nice little dent in the top of the blazer. <laughs> Yeah, those are, those are the good times. Those, those are good times. I don't, I don't understand what, what's going out in the field. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, it's when you don't get to eat at that uh, majestic mess hall you guys get oh, to every day. Oh, oh. Hey, I'll have you know, we had a great tent that only leaked in two spots, <laughs> right. and we had a cook that could hand out sea rations uh, like nobody's business. Best of the rest. Midnight chow. I probably told the story. Midnight chow. Now you're talking. Yeah, see, what is that garbage? Midnight chow. Well, ours midnight chow was out of your bag that you hid in your bag on your way out there. <laughs> yeah. About to the woods. I don't know. This was like a little restaurant they, they grill a, out by yeah. the flight line. So, really? Yeah, the, oh, guy, yeah. the guys that worked on base, yeah, man, they had a made. Those are those so guys out the Air Force is open 24 hours. Oh. Yeah. So we're not, we don't shut down at 5 like that. All right, I'll tell you a 24 hour story. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you shut down at noon. <laughs> you're right, you're right. They're home by noon. Golf at noon. You're right. back to work. <laughs> I, I've, I've told this before, I'm pretty sure, but we're in the, we're on maneuvers in Germany and we're up the mountains and uh, it's going to snow. They ne neglect to tell us how much. It's going to be a bad snow. We need to be careful moving around here tonight. But combo department, which I was in, hey, you've got um, guard duty tonight. Of course. You know, why not? Why not? You draw straws and I get the dreaded three to five shift, which means <laughs> you're not going to sleep. Because you might get noon to three or midnight to three and then you're up three to five and then you're up the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So at 2.30, Sergeant Anderson, who's our sergeant of the guard at that point in time, Corio, you fix that heater. I was, he's like, it's it's time for you to go on duty. He goes, but I'll make a deal with you. You fix that heater, and you don't have to go out there. I was like, it's freezing here. He goes, heater fell over. The, the merging gas, little pipe in, mm -hmm. you know, GP medium. There's 10 to 12 of us packed in there. I walk out there in my Mickey Mouse boots and my coveralls and look, and snow is three feet deep almost to the top of the gas can, and it had tipped over. I oh. I reached her, stood that gas can up, cranked the vent wide open, went inside, cranked it, went, got back in bed. Eight o'clock, seven thirty, eight o'clock. We all wake up. The floor's mud. Everybody's, everybody's <laughs> <on the outside sleeping. laughs> I got so much trouble. I was like, I just did what I was told. You know, I was told I mean, to make it warm. There was no alarm going to wake any of us up. <laughs> I think Sergeant Banks was my combo chief, and he had a meeting at six thirty or something. Quarter to eight, I think it was, when he rolled out of that fart sack and was just <laughs> mad. The floor was pure mud. I had not heard it called a fart sack in yeah. a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's always good stories like that. Bruce, once again, you got your 4th of July parade coming up, and it's on the 4th this year, yeah, shockingly on the fourth. enough. Yep. Uh, you guys work that magic somehow. It's yeah. The fourth. Let's do it on the 4th. <laughs> Lucky, just Perfect, lucky, right? <laughs> and it's going to be the same location. Start at Sycamore, head down to Washington, yep. hang a left, hang a left on Jefferson, and back to the school. And if someone wants to get involved with it, how do they get a hold of you? Indiana Spirit of Forty Five dot org. We got a message center. Uh, they can send us a message through Facebook. Some of the people will know Jerry and I. They can just send us private messages. Oh, yep. Oh. We we answer usually within. Four or five weeks. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. between now and August, you'll answer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We usually answer within, you know, thirty to forty miles. They can always catch you on a Friday night somewhere Absolutely. downtown. We will have them applications there. Um, American Heroes uh, gift shop. Um, I'm getting. And ready she's to, moved. She has moved. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting ready to print about two dozen applications to take. Kathleen over her shop, and she's yep. over uh, right by the old Charlie's. Right by the old Charlie's. Better, better yeah. words, right on the um, road, runs by RMC. Right, right Two, Morton. Two ten West York Street. Thank you, sir. Two ten West York Street. Mm -hmm. I, I always I was like that can't be York Street away over there, but it is. Yeah. By the, uh, from what I've told, it's the old uh, old Charlie's drive-in. Yeah, well, it's right. Yeah, right, right next, right 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 next to it. Yeah, yeah, right in on the backside. Well, it used to be a lot of things. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, the, 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 the Crosstown Eye Care was there. Yeah. It was a fitness place. Fitness place it was, was a there. suntan place. Uh, uh, it's been there forever. Wasn't the Board of Health there for a while? Many, many years ago? It must have been before my time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I wasn't born here. I was born at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1890 can... what was that? <laughs> that was my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm still 26. Right, right. Just keep joining the army when Washington was separate. <laughs> right. Somebody had, I made it across the Delaware. Somebody had to polish. Somebody had to polish those wooden teeth. Right. <laughs> you, you, you've got the the fourth event. You also have a battle buddy. Battle buddies. Are and the if somebody and wanted to get a hold of one of you gentlemen. Just to come in and listen. I know you. You told me if anybody just wants to come and observe, you're good. With that yeah, yeah, just send us a message. Yeah, and that's not limited to military. No. no. First responders. I mean, EMS, law enforcement, all of them. We all. We've all got. Things that, you know, some of us have things that just certain smells, sights, things that really set us off or, you know, occasional nightmares that we still have to these days. And sure. Just be somebody to mellow out with and release some of that pent up thought and energy that builds up in you. And... We're not professionals. We're just a couple of veterans. We've had issues in the past, and people have helped us. We're just passing that right along to our brothers and sisters. Well, you're veterans that care. And that's, we have, that's, uh, that's the, that's we have the meetings thing. twice a month, but yeah. we're available 24, 24 hours a day. Right. Chris knows Seven, he can pick up that three, phone. Yeah. It, unless I'm sitting in an explosive atmosphere four feet under the ground, I'm not answering my phone. Well, <laughs> usually, if I send you a text and you're in that situation, usually about five or ten minutes after I send that text, I get a call from Terry. Yep. What's going on? Right. <laughs> so we, yeah, we, we do this all for you. We're going in and out here with the internet for yeah. some reason. And I don't know what I've had. I've had some internet issues this morning, and I, I think I told you guys yeah. that off air. And I call, and they're like, "Yeah, that will be out to fix tomorrow." When I got home from work, it was fixed, and now we're experiencing some. I notice it's still not skipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we care about our brothers and sisters. We care about our veterans. We love our community. You know, everything we do is because we're allowed to. Right. By our community, our mayor. The, well, you got a lot of love and a lot of yeah. support from the community, which we is do. fantastic. Um, what you guys have done for a current frame rate is too low. I've been told I've been too low before. Yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> Good story of my life. My, Looking up from my the frame rate is too low. <laughs> <laughs> Looking no. up from the snake's belly. Right. <laughs> I've never let that stop me before. So. No. Uh, yeah, we. They can contact us anytime, twenty four seven. We will. We will respond. I mean. Yeah. I'm a deep sleeper, you know, but if my phone rings, I will hear it. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, we, we, we want to help. And we want to help our community. We want to help our veterans. We want to celebrate. You know, I celebrate every time I get a message from DPAA, hey, we got another one home. Right. I'm right on yeah, that. That is amazing. I am right on that, that computer making amazing. those memorials. We're up to 42 so far this year recovered. 
So. I, like I said earlier, one thing I do want to work on is getting the get a list of the, the, the W two WW two veterans that are still left. We want to we want to celebrate them. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Get with Lindsay. Get with you guys, and we'll f- figure something out. And um, I've got an appointment with Lindsay on Thursday. I'll bring it up with her. And we'll, yeah, we'll uh, work it out. She's supposed to give me some information tomorrow. If I don't hit her up on it tomorrow, yeah, I'll okay. say something to her because uh, we had talked about it. Um, she spent way too much time on air in here recently, so I, I don't care to speak to her anymore anytime soon. Did you hear that, Lindsay? <laughs> I'm surprised she's not on giving me go. Don't worry, Lindsay. We'll take care of you. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> she's good We still gal. love you. The, she had that, um, <laughs> I'm going to mess this up. She's going to hate me. Uh, the Veterans Creative Arts Festival. The Creative Arts Festival. Oh, my goodness. That was. you were. I, I had to go. I was running back and forth, diamond and air. Yeah. But that was amazing. Yeah, and I, I did not expect that turnout like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was I, I was asked to speak at it, and I got there about well, we cleaned up our mess at tabs and headed across about twenty five after. Well, they had and to have an Air just Force a, guy speak because this us uh, Army, Navy, Marines guys were not yeah, grunting. Just right. 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 No, they were they were, in, they were in the back eating the crayons. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but no, it, it, the turnout was amazing. The artwork was great. Yeah. A lot of veterans yeah. in there, and it was just a. It, it was how many? I forget how many pieces she had, but there was a bunch. She, she just threw it together, and it, and it worked. Mm-hmm. And the venue's in, perfect. And when I walked in there, I saw some veterans that I've known for so yeah. long. It's just like man, it's like being home. Yeah, yeah. And Handsha- handshakes and hugs all the way around, bro. Right. And yeah. I, I don't know. I, I like that crowd. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's um. You guys know that's the crowd of people that that's you, the crowd we want to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the crowd that you know you're. We your back's get, covered and your front's covered. We give each other guff day in and day out. Part brother, of it. We would have your back in a heartbeat. Part, part at the it. drop of a dime, yeah, I would yeah, be drop. there. Yeah. yeah. It's okay if we do it, but civilians do it. <laughs> no. no. Some of them don't understand that until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> but funny. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to laugh about it later. Yeah. Trust me. I remember one time I had my uniform on. It was some little... I'll just call him a punk civilian, yeah. probably about 17 or 18. And he just reached up and he grabbed and goes, what happened if I pulled this off? <laughs> you know, I, that was right after I got my commendation medal. Right. He reached up, what happens if I pull this off? And I just said, this. And I grabbed his hand and bent it back as far as I could without breaking it. <laughs> and his buddies were like, we're going to kick your butt. I said, you, you want to hear this thing break? <laughs> right. <laughs> and they took off. I'm like, yeah. Better leave, and I looked behind me, and there was four other guys right. that came in behind me, uh-huh. and two of them are rather large Marines. So I'm like, "You guys got my back? Yeah, it's going to yeah. cost you for now, right? Right. Yeah. As soon as yeah. that clears out, we're fighting. It's going. It's going to cost you off the NCO club we went, right? <laughs> and then you just want to pay for the beer and leave. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, for starters, you're not going to get them drunk, no matter how no. much you. No. You're going to buy them beer all night, and they're yeah. going to be like. Can we get another? It's thirty a piece, I believe. Is so. your wallet empty yet? <laughs> right, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, and I've done some research for the state of Indiana, and of the ninety-two counties in the state of Indiana, Morgan County has the highest per capita of veterans. Really? In, they, yeah, in the in state the of state. Indiana. In, in the state of Indiana. That's amazing. But there are more veterans that live in the Morgan County per capita than any other county in the, uh, the other ninety-one counties in the state of Indiana. I did not know that. That's I, I know I know that uh I think it was Brown County and Morgan County um are first and second in gun ownership. Oh yeah. Our, our gun <laughs> application. So it kinda goes hand in oh, hand. Oh darn yeah. mine <laughs> fell mine fell off my boat. I never right, 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 right. cover them all. Not that any of us have any weapons. Not that we have any. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah any, anything you know, all we do is like I said earlier, everything we do is free. Um Donations are truly appreciated for our organization. Uh, it's really been bad the last two years. Yeah. Just, well, and right now, if the price is going up, it's not much better. No, but, and, and the people are nervous and they don't want to spend, they don't want to let go of their money. And I get that yeah. 100%. We're still going to try on yeah, stuff we, we still do. Try. And I know you guys do I mean, too. We, we've got that. You know, we were talking beforehand that we got donated a 1967 Kaiser Jeep ambulance from Vietnam. Still got the racks in the back. Still got the seats. Still got the drop downs to hold the racks. Now the but, the the I'm thinking of the one in Mash. 
similar to that, though. It, it's similar. Yeah. It's real similar, yeah. Those are similar, but uh, it's got the original engine, yeah. the original tires, exhaust. It's even got the original siren. It just needs to be taken apart and cleaned oh, wow. and lubricated to work. But yeah, it's gonna cost us about twenty eight hundred. With the Marines for the lubrication. <laughs> I was going somewhere else with that. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna cost us about twenty eight hundred dollars to get that thing running. Yeah, but we're gonna do our best to have that thing running by the fourth. That'd be operate. sweet to see. That'd so, be sweet to see. Original paint job. Where'd you get it at? It was donated to us. Uh, in here from state or outside? Uh, from in state. Awesome. But I, I don't. Yeah, sure. I would have the person to give the person's name, but sure. But uh, we've got two people volunteering to do it, do all the work, uh, head gasket and four, or head gasket, all the brakes and a new brake cylinder is all it needs. It actually runs rather well, except for the oil that spits out the side of the engine. <laughs> <You know? laughs> is that a problem? Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not mean, a mechanic, but it sounds like something's wrong. It's, it's not something you can just take and mix your lab well <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 can we aim that towards the siren? Right, right. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't think about that. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We, we've got people willing to work on us. Just we you need make, to get the funds in. You made a valid point. It was probably an Air Force mechanic working on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't fly high enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> However, we could mount something in the back that goes burr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put the eight. Yeah, we could fill up the back of that ambulance with that guy. Yes, sure. we could in about five yeah. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, any anybody that wishes to donate to help us out, you know, it's just go to our website. There's a, a donate tab there if they want to bring something down to the tabs on the square. There's so much more to yeah. them that uh, they do, and a lot of it goes unnoticed and unsaid. Um, every day, these gentlemen are. They're doing something for somebody, and you'll never hear about it. And that's just the way they are. That's just the type of human beings they are. And uh, God bless them. I and got, our community is a better community for having you guys here. And I've got two things that are driving me nuts. One's a wallet, and one's a Bible. We've been researching for a year and a half trying to find the owners. Really? From it, One's where? from Vietnam, and the other one is from World War II. Wow. And the third one, I pretty much gave up on it. It's... uh. The set of wings that were found in Virginia at a crash site. But we can't find records on the crash site during World War II, somewhere in 41 or 42. But we've got people, there's a person that has those wings with a serial number, but we can't figure out who it is. Oh, no. Thinking that might have been part of the archives that burnt down in St. Louis, uh, where those records were kept. It's amazing how the only files that burn down are the ones that we are ever looking for. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Call there. Oh, Perfect. those were burned up, those were burned up in a fire. Really? Yeah. Did the whole thing go? Because... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mine got burned up in a fire, but all of a sudden, all my medical records finally showed up. It's like, hey, you liar. Everything was yeah. shot. <laughs> You're going to yeah. need to do this again. No, yeah, we, we not happening. We, we've done good. We've returned two wallets from the Arctic. Uh, to the rightful owner, and one's the actual owner in California, and one was the family member. Actually, it was in St. Louis. Yeah, but they've been missing them since 1968. I was six years old when they lost them in the Antarctic. That Mur uh, what was the name? That Mur McMurray. I can't remember the name. Of it. it was a big. It was the naval base down there. They were meteorologist. Oh, my goodness. And they fell in behind their lockers. They didn't need them there because there was nothing to buy. Right. And uh, yeah. a lady. Not, not a big shopping area. A, a, lady, <laughs> a lady in New Jersey found them, contacted me, and says, hey, you think you could help find us the owners of these? And I'm like, I'll try anything once. Got in trouble a few times like that. But, you know, <laughs> and within 24 hours, we had the one in St. Louis on its way to the, to the daughter-in-law or the granddaughter. The gentleman had already passed, and the other one made national news when we got it to him in California. Made it home. That's the big thing. It made it home to, to him. That's awesome. And it still had his beer ration card in it, plus his poker chip. Really? And he got in trouble because his girlfriend's number was still in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he did have a he did have a couple of things that were removed from that wallet before he showed his, his spouse. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what they were, right. but I'm not going to make any assumptions, but yeah. why would you need it in the Arctic? <laughs> anyway, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, we, we do. Polar bear. Penguins. There you go. Penguins. <laughs> Penguins and Ant and Ant yeah, not at the, down there. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff we do behind the scenes that people have no clue of how busy yeah. this organization is. Always, always busy. Yeah. 
Well, gentlemen, if there's anything else you'd like to discuss or say, clean, well, clean. You know what? Oh, oh, well, they just shot that. No, I guess we're not. No, we, we want to just thank everybody for the support we've had over the years. It's been incredible. Oh, no, it's you're, it's easy to support you guys. I mean, it's it, it you're needed, obviously, and, and the work you do is is magnificent, and it's good. Well, just like you just said, more veterans in this county than anybody yeah. in the state. So, and you're in the right place. And our veterans and are either online or will see this. You know, don't don't be afraid to step up and talk to us. All right. You know, I, Come I, down and see us on Friday night. Yeah. yeah. Come down and see us on a Friday night. Lock your we'll knees talk to you. Yeah. Do not lock your knees in formation. We've already had one person taken away from an ambulance. Well, away people have for to, another issue. Well, people but, have to send attention to the veterans. So. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. You can just hang out. Yeah. Hands yeah. in your pockets. Yeah. If, if you're having issues, swallow the pride. Don't think you're all by yourself because you're never alone. Nope. Um, never. We've got new T-shirts ordered. Uh, for our Battle Buddy support group. and Fantastic. You know, this Battle Buddy support, Brothers Bonded by <laughs> Honor, is the title of it. Yeah. And underneath it says in our family, nobody fights the demon alone. Awesome. That, that demon haunts a lot of us. Right. So. And I've found that out that, like I said, through these guys cornering me on a Friday night, that, and they mean it. And I'm, they've welcomed me, and I feel as though I'm part of this family. So oh, I, I'm with them. It's like if you need that help, oh, yeah. please come talk to one of us. Yeah. Chris understands that when we say brother, we don't mean just friend. Or right. No. He is a brother. Yeah. We've all got That's connections. Awesome. That's okay. awesome. Okay. Close to forty guys come in and out of the program. Over I was going to ask that how many four you got years. four years, and we haven't lost a one. We haven't lost one. That's fantastic. They don't always stay for very long. Some are just in and out. Yeah. Some be for a few weeks or months, and you know he's been with us for over a year. Over a year, uh, we just can't seem to lock the doors fast enough. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we, 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 we've had need like, that mat out front. <laughs> and and we, we've had uh, two. I think Jerry didn't you have one check, self checked into rehab? Yeah, he went into a, a in house rehab right. up in Michigan with the VA. And uh, I had a, I had one call me down here on the square, at eleven o'clock one night. He was ready to kill himself. Mm -hmm. And we sat there and talked till about one in the morning, and I drove him to Greenwood, and he checked himself out. Yeah, it's just you gotta. For those of us that have looked at that barrel and thought, you know, it'll only take a second. All right. For those of us that have faced that and thought that, the thought of the family on the other side of that thought doesn't occur. Right. And that's. Part of the thing that we're trying to get guys to understand is you are loved. You're not alone. You're loved. You're not alone. You got brothers and sisters that will care about you, right? Or smack you upside the head if you need it. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe There's, before, during, or after. We have we found care. that wearing brown boots is a good thing. Right. It doesn't show. Yeah, that's, <laughs> there's always one more choice. Yeah, yeah. and that's us. Yeah, that's the best option. I I yes. said I said time i was talking about i sat and talked with bruce while he was at work on was, the clock yeah. for what nearly two hours nearly that day two hours in a parking lot while he was working yeah, yeah he wasn't really working though i was gonna say but i made it look good <laughs> he made it look real good yeah. in case his boss is listening him, like, i i even put my hand underneath the vehicle and made my hands dirty so i looked like i did something that day he, he, no, he <laughs> clocked out in case his boss is listening uh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, was, he was at lunch for six yeah, hours. I took a two hour. I took a two hour lunch, but now any time, any time. Well, boys, you know you're always welcome here. Love you guys and what you do, uh, and can't great. tell you We're back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll, bring the, we'll bring the donation we'll, can. We'll be we'll be uh, Monday music hour tomorrow night. So awesome. yeah, we'll stop in here and. Uh, I don't know if y'all can sing. Is it that uh, I, I, like I, a bird? Yeah, right. <laughs> a dying bird. There's a reason I sound like a bird. Got hit by tank. <laughs> There's a reason I play the trumpet. <laughs> I got a voice. I got a voice made for a trumpet. Well, believe, believe it or not, I had a fantastic tenor voice until I had my cancer. Really? And when they took out the tissue from my throat and my tongue, or from behind my tongue, the muscle, the muscle portion, it actually loosened enough to drop me to a baritone. Wow. So. One thing to be thankful for with cancer. I didn't sing the girl part no more. 
<laughs> Did it make the hole bigger where more food can go down in those qualities? <laughs> the beer goes down a lot there quicker. You go. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. We, we, we appreciate everybody's support. We appreciate our community. We love our community. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this. It shows. But uh, the 500th, it, July 22nd. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. Dedication. It's it's all over you guys. And uh, you never none of you guys have never stopped serving. Nope. And uh, Don't blame them. our community is grateful for that. Well, there you go. That's right. Thanks, Gosh. Kevin. Thank Thanks, time for always supporting us. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. Wouldn't have any. Shout out. To be nice to Kevin. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah but wait, wait till you hear what he says after we walk. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, just ignore what goes on outside the door. Right. Right. Once we turn the mics off, it's open game again. You guys need to know that. So. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming in and uh, look forward to the parade. You know, we'll be live there. Oh, we'll, help, we'll help boost it and, and get you some people in there. And then, of course, 500 for the. Uh, for the it. tap. So, and then spirit of 45.org. Yep. Go to the events tab. You can download the flyer. You can download the, the application. If you guys need so. anything, don't hesitate to message them. I'm telling you. And if you can't get a hold of them, message me, and then I'll I'll send them a direct Kevin, text. Kevin's, got it. Kevin's, got, <laughs> yeah. Kevin's got our numbers. And, yeah. Uh, they, I think he's got something he's Sometimes you got to send them a photo, and it catches their attention. and then. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one, Kevin. No. <laughs> Not the the wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. <laughs> Kevin's drinking vodka again. Right, right. <laughs> Love you guys. Love, Love you guys, guys for tuning in. Uh, Valida will be on here in about an hour. She has three very special guests doing working on the bicentennial uh, program for here in the in the county. Yep. And uh, we'll be back probably about fifty five minutes. We'll see you guys soon.